Shalom. First and foremost, I want to begin by giving all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Bashah, Bahashem Rechak Wadash. The one to the apostles and elders, the great millstone that tells his truth. And much respect to the Akim out there laying in his work. And peace and salutations to the hopefully elect that are scattered abroad across the four corners of the earth to you, I say, Shalom. So the title of this lesson is going to be that sin remaineth okay that sin remaineth and pretty much uh this lesson is going to be through the spirit but it's geared towards you know you israelites out there who are not settled you know within the faith meaning that you're still fornicating spiritually fornicating uh with the most high by you know subscribing to different doctrines out here all right i'm not just talking about christianity but um rather other Israelite camps who teach, you know, wayward things, okay? So you can say that you like Great Millstone, but at the same time, you got a thing for, you know, IUIC or Sakari or GOCC, HOI, so on and so forth, which means that you have your spiritual eyes, you know, your, your one-time undisciplined eyes, you know, looking at other guys, which is, you know, liking unto fornication in the sight of the Most High. All right, the Most High requires us to be directly, you know, centered and focused on Him, you know, through the testimony that He sent out. All right, and that's where um, the elect are going to be accepted by them submitting unto the true gospel. All right, not by you being tossed to and fro with all these different camps. All right, man. All right, you got to make a decision. So let's first get the, uh, let's get the first scripture, Matthew 3, and verse 9. I'm just going through the spear. Okay, because you got to remember, even during the time of our Lord Yahweh Shai, over 2,000 years ago, you know, everybody knew there was Israelites, right? So what separated the, uh, the righteous Israelites uh, from the wicked? Well, the righteous ones believe in our Lord Yahweh Shai and his doctrine. See, matter of fact, in St. John 7, 17, yeah, 16, it says, Yahweh Shai answered them and said, My doctrine is not mine, but his that sent me. Okay? And so, of course, you had the wicked Pharisees and Sadducees back then, you know, and, and different Israelites of different sects who didn't really believe in our Lord Yahweh Shai, although they knew that they were Israelites. So, by default, as our Lord said, if you believe not that I am he, then you shall die in your sins. All right? Let's get that real quick. We'll go right back. Yep. St. John 8. In 24, it says, I said therefore unto you that ye shall die in your sins. Okay? For if you believe not that I am he, Ye shall die in your sins, right? So for the ones back then who didn't gravitate or submit themselves until Yahweh Shah and the doctrine, then their sins were going to remain all the way up until these times, okay? And in these latter days, the Lord has sent out Yahweh Shah again, all right? But only through the Spirit. And with the Spirit of our Lord Yahweh Shah is speaking through the men that he set up, okay? I got to get another precept. 1 Thessalonians 4 and verse 8. He therefore that despiseth, despiseth not man, but the Most High, who have also given us unto us his Holy Spirit. Right? <clears throat> so as the prophets have been sent forth, <clears throat> you know, uh, from Apostle Tahar, you know, the rest of the apostles on down, the bishops, all right, we all speak the same thing, and that's the thing. You know, the Lord said, you know, pretty much be like minded concerning judgment, and was there's no difference, you know, within doctrine concerning great millstone, okay? And that's that being in one mind and being in sync with the Most High. <clears throat> so, Matthew 3 and uh, verse 9 says, And think not to, you, to say within yourselves, okay? And think not to say within yourselves, we have Abraham to our father, right? 
because basically a lot of Israelites wake up to the fact that they are the seed of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, you know, not knowing that or not really understanding that, you know, uh, the most High doesn't care about you just claiming yourself to be an Israelite. The most High don't give a damn about you calling yourself an Israelite, you know, the most High cares about obedience. So once you come back into your nationality, then you should be seeking for obedience the right way as we get, okay? So it says, For I say unto you that the most high is able of these stones to raise up children unto Abraham, okay? <clears throat> so basically the most high don't need us. He don't need you just because you said you're an Israelite, he don't give a damn, man. Alright, he he requires obedience. Okay? So once you come into the fact that you're an Israelite, then you should be seeking for the old way, the good way. As you read in Jeremiah 6 and 16, Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh by Shem stand ye in the ways, and see, and ask for the old paths. All right, where is the good way? Okay, where is the good way? What is that good way talking about? It's talking about the doctrine. Proverbs 4, and we'll start verse 1. It says, Hear ye children the instruction of a father, and attend to no understanding. This thing is all about uh, gathering understanding, you know, the proper knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the scriptures. It says, For I give you good doctrine, all right? Good doctrine or teaching. Forsake ye not my law. And this book is a law in its entirety. It's not just talking about the 613 laws. And that's another thing. You got a lot of Israelites who are seeking glorification by the keeping of the law as if, you know, that's a possible feat. You know, you got certain Israelites that are saying that, you know, Yahweh Shah died just so we can know that we can keep the law also. All right? <laughs> Which makes completely no sense. You know, that's madness and foolishness. Okay? Yahweh Shah literally came down to be an atonement for the sins of the elect on this side. So that their sins, you know, won't remain in the day of judgment, okay, for everyone that believed in them. All right. So it's Jeremiah 6 and uh, 16 again. <clears throat> Thus saith the Lord, stay in the ways and see and ask for the old paths, okay, where it's a good way or the good doctrine, because there's many different doctrines out here, but there's only one good way. And walk therein, okay? Yeah, spiritually subscribe to it. Walk therein. And ye shall find rest for your souls. But they said we would not walk therein. Okay? And that's going to be everyone that's disobedient, you know, to Yahweh Shah and his gospel. You know, the men that he set up, so on and so forth. All right? <clears throat> that sins are going to remain. See? So this thing is all about obeying the teachings that our Lord, you know, uh, uh, command us to subscribe to all right so isaiah 1 and 18 let us reason it says come now and let us reason together said the lord yahweh hashem al shah though your sins be as scarlet <laughs> they shall be as white as snow though they be red like crimson they shall be like wool meaning that if you subscribe into this testimony, into the full doctrine, then your sins will be covered. You'll be made pure again, okay? Through the blood of our Lord, you have a shine and sacrifice that he made, which will act as an atonement, you know, for the elect. So it says, if you be willing and obedient, okay, obedient to what? The doctrine. You shall eat the good of the land. But if you refuse and rebel, if you hear this word and you turn away from it, you know, if you uh, subscribe to Great Millstone or at the same time subscribe to these different other Israelite camps, then that's a form of you rebelling. It says you shall be devoured with the sword, and the sword is coming. Because you're not going to have a heads there because the Lord is not dealing with a spiritual whore. He's only coming for the faithful elect, the ones who sincerely believe, you know, in, in, in the doctrine that he sent out, all right? <clears throat> it says, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. Okay, so going back up to verse 19, if you be willing and obedient, all right? So before we came to this truth, we were disobedient. But once you 
subscribe to this doctrine, then you became obedient. All right. Let me see. Yeah, Romans 6 and 17 says, But Yahweh Shemashah be thanked that ye were the servants of sin, but ye have obeyed from the heart, which is talking about your mind, that form of doctrine or teaching, you see, which was to deliver you. Being then made free from sin, ye became the servants of righteousness. Right, so once you're made free of your sin by you subscribing to this gospel, you know, you became a righteous servant, a servant of righteousness. And what's this gospel? All right. It's considered righteous, godly. Okay. Let's go to Ephesians real quick. Ephesians 4, I believe. Ephesians 1. And 13, all right? It says, Ephesians 1 and 13, in whom ye also trusted after that you heard the word of truth, right? Spoken through the prophets. The gospel of your salvation. The gospel of your salvation, in whom also after that ye believe, ye were sealed with that Holy Spirit of promise. So once you heard the true gospel and you full, wholeheartedly, 100% believed in it, you know, you were convincing your mind that this is the truth. Then from that point on, you know, you were sealed. You were accepted. By Yahweh, by Shemasha, now your sins have been wiped away. Okay? <clears throat> Which means that um, also you saw subscribe to these other different camps, these other different doctrines. And um, you fully were persuading your mind that this is the 100% truth. Okay? So once you heard this gospel, then you were sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. So let's go back to Ephesians 4. And uh, verse 13 says, Till we all come to, into the unity of the faith. You got a lot of camps talking about unity. <laughs> you know, coming together with different ideologies and stuff like that. And was that's not the correct way uh, that the Most High wanted us to come back. You know, we had to come back into the unity of the faith, speaking the same thing. It says, And of the knowledge of the Son of Yahweh unto a perfect man. Okay, perfect in what understanding unto the measure of the statue of the fullness of Hamashiach, that we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro, see, and carried about with every wind of doctrine, hopping from camp to camp. You know, I like great millstone, but I like IOC garments, <laughs> I like how they march, I like Sakara because they, they, they rap videos and shit, they still got that streak vibe to them, you know, <clears throat> and that kind of relates to my old life, you know, you got people who are subscribing to counts strictly because of the outside appearance, rather than, you know, what's written in the scriptures, when obviously these guys are going off in the scriptures, this means that you should not be subscribing to them, you know, so it says, by the slight of men and cunning craftiness, whereby they lie in wait to deceive, and the scripture says that men should follow their pernicious ways. And with the way of truth shall be evil spoken of. And we see how all these camps speak evil about Great Millstone. All right? So, yeah, a lot of people want to follow their pernicious ways, and, and that's going to lead to the damnation. All right? So, from there, um, we'll grab one more and close it out. I won't make this too long. But, yeah, I mean, if you're trying to be saved from this upcoming destruction, this thing froze up on save. Uh, then you have to make your mind up, man. You can't be double-minded as far as you, uh, you know, believing in these different doctrines. There's only one doctrine. So let's close it out with this right here. I think it's 1 John 2 and 9. Or 2 John 2 and 1 and 9. Where it says, Whosoever transgresseth, and abide of not in the doctrine of Hamashiach. See? So, to transgress means to not abide within the teachings of Yahweh Shah. Alright? Which means that <laughs> you believe in some false ideology. You believe 95% of Great Millstone. 
But when Sakara say that they don't fully accept Paul as, you know, canon, <laughs> you know, then that makes you uh, uh, pretty much a transgressor. You're not abiding within your house shot. You know, so on and so forth. The chip, you know, being white women, uh, you know, you know, man, anything else but the chip. Talking about the MOTB. <clears throat> so it says, He that abideth in the doctrine of Hamashiach have both the Father and the Son. So if there come any unto you and bring not this doctrine, receive him not into your house, and neither bid him God speed. So if anyone brings you another teaching other than what you have learned from Great Millstone, you know, you are not to accept him. All right? So it says, if you do, verse 11, for if he that bid from God's speed is a partaker of his evil deeds. All right? Which means that you're, you're going to be found a transgressor when your house shall return. And guess what? Paul made this same sentiment in the book of Galatians. We're going to get this real quick and then we'll close it out. Go with it. <clears throat> Galatians 1. In 6, it says, I marvel that you are so soon removed from him that called you unto the grace of Hamashiach unto another gospel, which is not another, it's not another teaching other than, you know, what Yahweh Bashan Shai set up, you know, from the man of Great Millstone. It says, But there be some that trouble you, right? And would pervert the gospel of Hamashiach. You got niggas talking about, uh, you know, uh, what's his new, I ain't even gonna say the name. Of the God that these dudes call on, the Greek God or whatever. <laughs> you know, you got people changing up the names. They're saying that we're in a new covenant. They're saying that, you know, uh, uh, you know, it's not going to be Jacob's trouble, so on and so forth, right? And all this stuff is perverseness, and they're troubling some people who are not stable. Okay, <clears throat> it says, but though we or an angel from heaven preach any other gospel unto you, see the Lord. I mean, Paul even brought the fact that even if an angel come down speaking something different from what we have been taught hey let them be a curse man okay preach any other gospel unto you than what than which than that which we have preached unto you let him be a curse all right so anyone outside his doctrine is cursed he's gonna say it again as we said before so say i now again if any man preach any other gospel unto you than that ye have received let him be a curse right that's how deadly and serious it is for you to abide within you have a shot in the doctrine anything outside that leads to death your sin is going to remain and you will be found guilty when you have a shot issues forth that judgment so now is the time to settle yourself or else receive damnation so with that lord willing you edify us next time i say shalom